It could be used in education when people are trying to go to school, maybe mm. that their brain is being monitored. Do you think that is there any other breakthrough technologies of for the next 25 years? What are you expecting? I mean, I would say in 20 years, hmm. the technology that everybody will be talking about hmm. is a technology that has not been invented yet. That hmm. Everyone will be talking about is one that does not exist today. No, no. Okay? So, so not biotechnology or something? No, nope. it will be something that does not exist today. Uh, because 20 years ago, we hardly had the web. Yeah. Mm. It was like 25, you know, it was hardly yeah. even existed. Mm -mm. The kinds of things that I'm paying attention to now is, mm. I think the, the most radical one that I've heard was this mm. skull cap mm -hmm. of diodes. Diodes, yes. That produce mm. near infrared light. Mm -hmm. This near the infrared spectrum of light. Yes. Which turns out can penetrate through our skull and our brain to see our brain. Our br our skull mm. is transparent, it's like glass mm. to near infrared light. And so they can shine light into our brain mm -hmm. at very, very high resolutions mm -hmm. and they can basically see individual neurons wow. and then they can read them. Wow. So it's a way to mm. read our brains mm -hmm. and it's very lightweight hat so mm. you can kind of walk around and do things or talk to a computer. It's at least 20 years, it's mm. maybe 30 years. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a researcher called Mariko Jepsen, who, mm. from Michael MIT, Jepsen. Mm. who is actually producing this, has a startup. Mm. They're taking stuff from the lab and trying to make it real. I so I think that's a 25 year before consumers will see it. If you could use that, what do you want to do? Nobody knows what it's going to be used for. Mm, as you um, said, so they think they're going, they may the use it for patients who had brain damage. Mm. Those are the kinds of people they're going to use it first. Mm. To people whose brains are damaged, they want to be able to look into their brain to see how it works. Mm. It can be used for research. Mm. Certainly, maybe people will do um, VR, yeah, so using something. Game? games. Maybe there's a way to monitor your own thinking so you can improve how you learn. And as I quantify yourself. Right, you're quantifying yourself and you're trying to learn a language and it's looking at saying, well, here's how you're, you need to use this part of your brain mm. or versus this part. Mm. Here's some things to strengthen that side. Mm. It could be using education when people are trying to mm. go to school, maybe mm. that their brain is being monitored. Wow. I think there's so many things we Lots could imagine. Way. Yeah. You even can't imagine everything. Sure. Oh, wow, that's just so big. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for You're very welcome. Asking. It's always so exciting. Yeah, an insider, really. That always it's a big resource for Wired Magazine. You're very welcome. And even please for just uh, just always looking after Wired yeah. Japan too. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking your time. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.